Do you ever have one of those days? When you feel like you have no purpose. Like you get so stuck into a rhythm that you forget why you're doing it in the first place. You forget what your life is. You don't know who orchestrates it, why things happen. You forget what you want and you wander. You wander in your mind and you wander in your life. Where am I going? Where do I want to go? The inside of your mind becomes bigger than the world around you and you lose touch. You forget. so nice this weekend to just like not not really like plan out what I had to do like yeah. I well, because we have so much that we do in the week and so this weekend I was just like hey I'm just not gonna do anything so I ended up okay I hung out with John and Austin Aww. and then and then his friend Elizabeth and we like did nothing Saturday and then we watched like Will and Grace all night and then we did like nothing again on Sunday Ugh, Austin is such a nice guy yeah I know okay so I only talked to him like once or twice but in this class together, we ended up going to dinner afterwards. Just did. It's all right. Oh. Just all right. Oh. And oh. that was so much fun. And okay, so I'm sitting there talking to him about how stressed I am from the geology final. And then three weeks later, okay, get this. I go to Sipo. There's a note in my Sipo that says, Good luck with finals. You've got this. And I was like, Honestly, like, <laughs> that's like one of the nicest things anyone's like ever done for me, you know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that's like so, like, Austin. Oh like, he's just so thoughtful and such a great guy mm -hmm. and he mm -hmm. oh, and he has friends that like you can just hang out with and it's so chill and it's yeah. so nice and and he's also like he's just like really smart and he's like so many people feel like they have to prove how cool they are to everybody yeah. but he is just like confident and mm -hmm. like so caring also just oh, awesome. what's his major oh <laughs> he's philosophy and IR double major <sighs> Yeah, which is oh, like the yeah. perfect combination because it's like really academic and really studious. Like you have to work really hard, but mm -hmm. also it's like it's totally practical. Yeah. You know, like that is something that like can support you when you leave school, and also it's a way to like 
get out and kind of like change the world and like do really oh, good that's things. So true. That's yeah. So, yeah. I mean, okay. I think it's really great to throw philosophy in with anything if you can. Yeah. You know, mm-hmm. because like, okay, I don't know about you guys, but like in my philosophy class, it really challenged me to start thinking about like really normal things, like mm-hmm. like thinking like why do we do that?
Harper. Harper. Oh, hey. Hi. Hi. Hi, what are you listening to? Um, just an artist I like. Oh, cool. Yeah. You wake up in the morning and you are unsure. You are unsure if you have what it takes to face this day and you can't say why. You realize how lost you are, how uncertain everything is. You feel a cloud come over you. It's hard to face people when you have this going on inside of you. You don't really know how to explain it. You can't explain how the only thing you know for sure is that you feel this inner fear. You fear everything and nothing. Where is it that I belong? Excuse me, it's Harper, right? Hmm? Hi. Um, sorry. It's... You're, you're Harper, right? Right. I'm sorry. Wow, I... 
You must have been trying to think of something. I, I'm sorry for bothering no, you. No, no, it's okay. Um, you're Peter, right? Yeah. Um, we're in romantic poetry together. Right. How's your paper going? It, it's coming. It's, it's not really coming. Oh, yeah. Me too. Um, I, I looked at the like the the outline, he, the outline he gave us, and mm -hmm. I was like, did we even go over this in class? It's like, oh, so confusing. Yeah, I think he, the outline, he wanted everyone to know to include a biography on the critique. So, right. Um, I think he wanted us to know that. So as long as you do, I think that's okay. Oh, all right. Good. Um. Uh, what? What poet are you doing? Uh, Keats. John Keats. Great. Oh, you! Uh, so, um, you're the one that uh, took Keats before I could. <laughs> yeah, I, I figured that, like, since he lived the shortest, like, his biography would be the easiest to do. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's why I chose him. So, what poet are you doing? Me? Um, I am... Yeah, Blake. Well, William, William Blake. Mm -hmm. And I didn't read any of the poems that were on the syllabus, but I always like, really liked his illustrations. Yeah, I love his illustrations. Yeah, I love love his illustrations. Uh, I have, I have a few of his prints hanging in my room. So, well, my roommate's like an like an art major. So he's really into minimalism and clean lines and stuff. So like, he'll walk into the room and he'll be like mumbling under his breath about how much he hates romanticism. <laughs> and I'm just like, whatever. Um, like, like Van der Rohe is his idol. What? Sorry, uh, uh, like Van der Rohe, the, the architect. Oh. Yeah, my roommate worships him. <laughs> Yeah. Art majors, right? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I, I just wanted, I wanted to, you know, say hi. I always see you in class, and then and, and like at lunch, I see you at lunch. And, um, okay, um, this is gonna sound really creepy, but I, this one time I saw you at this cafe in Lincoln Park. Really? Yeah. Um, I, w I wasn't like following you or anything. Yeah, it, w it was like I was just doing homework, and well, you walk in, and I wanted to say hi, but like you were kind of doing your own thing. I didn't really know you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You um, know the, the antique, like kind of coffee thing. Yeah, I love that place. So I, yeah, I wanted to I wanted to say hi because you. You, um, you're like, I don't know. When I get this urge to be someone's friend, it's usually a good thing. Sorry. Yeah. You, you always look like you're in a really deep thought. Is that off, is that off base to say? Mm -hmm. Whoa. Well, you do. Um, I think it's kind of cool and like, like pensive and thoughtful, whatever. I always like what you have to say in class. Really? Yeah, you always have good things to say. Um, yeah, thanks. Um, I, uh, I guess, <laughs> I guess I try and liven things up <laughs> every now and then. Um, it's so early. <laughs> um, like. I don't know, I feel like I'm the only morning person besides Dr. Fairchild. Probably more than Dr. Fairchild. Right? I, I, w I wasn't going to say anything, but he always looks so tired. Yeah, he's funny though. Yeah, he is. <laughs> Do you play Scrabble? Do I play Scrabble? Yeah, like, like, do you, do you like playing it? I mean, I don't know. Would I'm... you, like, want to play with me and some friends on Saturday? What? 
I, I, I play Scrabble with a couple of my friends on Saturday nights because, well, well they're my philosophy major friends and they, they don't really do anything on weekends because they're not like really human. So <laughs> uh, we just play Scrabble on Saturday nights. If you're busy or anything, it's no, it's like no big deal. Not it's like. <laughs> no, no, it's Saturday. Yeah, that sounds good. Great. Good. Awesome. Um, I will email you the address. Okay, sounds good. Great. Um. Yeah, uh, your your last name is Elliot, right? Yeah, two L's, two T's. Um, I will. I'll find your school email then. Okay, cool. Right. Have fun with uh, Keats and stuff. Thanks. See you later, Harper. Twenty-two points. Twenty-two. Wow. Squabble. Nice. Squabble. Sounds like you're trying to say uh, Scrabble with a speech impediment. <laughs> um, good thing you didn't take my spot. Um, undulate. <laughs> 45 points. Oh, you oh, suck. Oh, gosh. Uh, sorry, guys. <laughs> I seriously only have consonants. Uh, can we use German words? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Peter, yeah? did you, uh, did you read that one article I sent you? Um, which one? <laughs> Thanks. The one I sent you. About what? The meat industry. Meat industry. Wait. No, I... The meat industry, you know that one um, news agency was running that expose? Oh, wait, yeah, yeah, um, I didn't, have a, I didn't get to it, sorry. Well, I really think you should read it. I, I mean, it's practically convinced me to be, become a V. <laughs> what, really? <laughs> no, yeah, like, okay, so, the journalist in this article, he's saying that, um, that this meat, that this, this particular company, it's, um, it's able to bypass like all these all these uh, health standards uh -huh. because of some lame loophole in the system. Now, of course, they're obvious to see if you know about them, but no one's looking into it because this company's FDA approved. I'm just, it's ridiculous. I'm shocked at what's happening. I'm just trying to picture you being a vegan. Nah, <laughs> can't. <Come on. laughs> oh, okay. Remember the last philosophy department dinner? Right. So we get all these questions together, right? These sophisticated topics to ask the profs, and we actually sit down, and you're just stuffing your face like, in front of all the guys with tenure and their salads. What were you even eating? It was like a Philly cheesesteak or something. Hey, hey, don't knock our school's Philly cheesesteak. It's actually pretty good. Well, they're being made in Illinois rather than Philadelphia. <laughs> You know what? Just stop it with this guilt trip, okay? I'm trying to tell you about how passionate I am about the meat industry. Knock. Uh, ten points, I think. Very nice, Louis. Um, yeah. Okay, enough rambling. Back to you. Yates, it's funny you mentioned that article. I've actually been doing a lot of research on the food industry lately. Really? Yeah, for my English writing class. Who do you have for that? Uh, Dr. Amos. Male or female? Female. <laughs> yeah, she's <laughs> great. She's really uh, enthusiastic and bubbly. Almost too much so at first. Okay. You find yourself in this life. You don't know how you got here. You aren't sure if it is your life. You have superiors and they tell you what to do. 
They give you a list of tasks you must accomplish. You are unsure why. You wonder what the solution will be, or if the word can even enter your vocabulary. You get so used to this feeling of being lost that it becomes you. You wonder, you look around. Why should I be like this? Who told me I had to? Was it my own voice or another? You wonder, you move. You move forward. You move forward. It's only 12 points. Okay. Well, points remains. Back to Harper. Harper. Is she okay? Harper, it's your turn. <laughs>